Tonight we're going to look at Yeshua's encounter with David. There is a mysterious figure throughout the Bible who is referred to as the angel of the Lord. He's different from a normal angel because he is worshipped. This, we have made a case, I believe in past messages, that this is Yeshua. To understand the encounter that David had with Yeshua, we've got to understand the significance of Mount Moriah. Moriah in Hebrew is a mountain in Jerusalem. There's something about this place where you see the Lord. There's something about this place that also the Lord sees. We've got to go back to Abraham to have the context for David. God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, take your son, your only son whom you love, Isaac, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering. Then Abraham got up and went to the place about which God had told him, took the wood for the burnt offering and put it on Isaac, his son. Isaac said to Abraham, his father, my father, here's the fire in the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide for himself a lamb. Then they came to the place about which God had told him. And Abraham built the altar there, bound up Isaac, his son, laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. But here he is, the angel of Adonai, we believe Yeshua, called to him from heaven and said, do not reach out your hand against the young man. Do nothing to him at all, for now I know that you are the one who fears God. You did not withhold your son, your only son, from me. Abraham lifted his eyes, and behold, there was a ram caught in the thick bushes by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it as an offering instead of his son. Abraham named that place Adonai Yireh, as it is said today, on the mountain Adonai will provide. There's a clear parallel between Isaac and Yeshua. Both are beloved only sons. Abraham doesn't withhold his only son. God does not withhold his only son. Both carry the wood. Both cry, my father. Isaac sees a sacrifice lamb caught by the thorns. Yeshua's head is pierced with thorns. Isaac asks, where is the lamb? Abraham responds, God will provide for himself a lamb. Well, let's look at the second reference real quick to Moriah. What happened to David? Satan stood up against Israel and incited David to count Israel. David told Joab and the leaders, go count Israel from Beersheba to Dan. God was displeased with this thing and he struck Israel. Then David said to God, take away the guilt of your servant for I have behaved very foolishly. We have a sin problem. We have a guilt problem. The question is how can sin be removed? Then Adonai spoke to Gad, David's seer, saying, Go and speak to David, saying, Thus says Adonai, I offer you three things. Choose one of them, and I will bring it upon you. Either three years of famine, three months being swept away by your enemies, or three days of the sword of Adonai, pestilence in the land, and the angel of Adonai ravaging throughout all the territories of Israel. David said to Gad, let me fall into the hand of Adonai for his compassion is very great. David lifted his eyes and saw the angel of Adonai standing between earth and heaven with a drawn sword in his hand stretched out over Jerusalem. David falls on his face. He says, please, oh God, let your hand be against me and my father's house. Do not let the plague be on your people. So the angel of Adonai told Gad that David should go up and build an altar to Adonai. This altar is the same place where Abraham sacrificed Isaac. This altar is on the same ridge where Yeshua was sacrificed. This angel of Adonai, Yeshua, is the very one that stopped Abraham, is the very one now that stops the destruction. Then David said, this is the place where the house of Adonai will be, along with the altar for burnt sacrifices for Israel. Moriah, it's on the sides of the north. 
but the north is where it is vulnerable. The north is where enemies encroach upon Jerusalem. The north is where Jerusalem has been conquered time and time again. It's this very place that is beautiful in situation. This is where Yeshua was sacrificed, in our place of sin, in our place of vulnerability. All of us have vulnerabilities. All of us have areas of weakness, areas where the enemy wants to encroach into our lives. Sometimes we are facing so many difficulties and we can focus so much on our own problems, but when we step out and realize that we are an instrument to share God through us, through our weakness, something breaks. I believe Moriah reminds us that Yeshua wants to be seen.